What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nuggles YouTube channel. So to finish this week off, today is Friday, and uh, to what we're going to play today is the Malamar deck. Now, Malamar can be played in a ton of different variants. Uh, there's a, I mean, there's like an endless possibilities we could do with Malamar. Uh, you could do Malamar with Ultra Necrozma GX, the metal one, um, where you just like, blow people up um this one blows people as, as well um you got this one which is the pure psychic version i'm gonna play this one today um just because i think it's a little bit better because we're not reliant on those metal energies uh we're just you know using our psychic energies power our guys up and just go that way uh but there's even more psychic attackers that we include in this deck that we don't have in this in the, in the list today uh but this list actually got top eight i think it got eighth place but i think Malamar is in a great spot right now. Yeah, I got eighth place at the Australian Special Event this past weekend. I think it's a good spot. I, I haven't seen one in multiple cups, so expect Malamar cups for sure. Uh, but let's go over the deck. Let's see what it's about. So our main guy is Malamar. Has Psychic Recharge. You attach a Psychic Energy from his Cabral to one of your bench Pokemon. Now this could be, you know, it depends what you're, uh, you're against, I guess, right? So, first thing we're talking about is Marshadow GX. It has that Shadow Hunt to use any base Pokemon in your discard pile uh, as its attack, but it, you need the necessary energy. So, basically, you just copy an attack and you're fighting, so you punch Zark in the face for knockout. Really good card. Uh, you have Sotowudo, which is really nice as well. Uh, this makes it where Marshadow cannot get knocked out because if there's a full bench with five and an active choice band, you do 150. But with Sudowoodo, you can roadblock them down to four, and they actually can't one-shot your Marshadow, which is a really cool thing to include against the Zark deck. So that's basically why the Sudowoodo is in there. There's two Dawnwings Necrozma from GX, which has the Invasion. You switch from your bench to the active, and you can retreat it. It has Dark Flash, but the main attack here for this guy is going to be Moon Eclipse GX. It does 180. Uh, you can only use this attack if you are if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. So basically, your Pokemon gets immune to this Necrozma GX. But also, you can use like Marshadow and become a Moon with the immune with the Moon Eclipse GX, which is really nice. Uh, of course, for for Malamar, uh, two Marshadow. Marshadow has a let loose ability to shuffle each player's hands into the deck and draw four cards. Shadow Punch thirty. It's not really that strong. What we really care about is that less loose ability. Uh, one Mewtwo GX. It has full burst. This attack does thirty damage times amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, you could use Sorp a Sorp Super Absorption for sixty, but what we're really using is either Side Strike or Full Burst. Full Burst is probably our main attack we're using most of the time. And there's also Mimikyu. Mimikyu has Copycat. If your opponent's Pokemon to use an attack that isn't a GX attack during the last turn, use it as this attack. So Mimikyu can pretty much mimic anybody and use their attacks. And one of our main attackers is going to be this Necrozma GX. Just a regular one. It has Prasmatic Burst. Discard all Psychic Energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 6 damage uh, for each energy card you discard it in this way. So if you discard 3 Psychic Energies, you do 190 damage, uh, which is what we're trying to go for with this deck for the majority part, is use that Prismatic Burst. We do have Black Ray GX to do 100 each GX and EX, but we have two better GX attacks, and that is the form of the Moon Club's GX, or the Psy Strike, that's what we really want to use, and not the um, Necrozma GX. And also two Tapu Lele. We could Tapu Cure, and it's a really good attack to heal two, bit, two bench Pokemon, but um, mainly it's there for the Wonder Tag. So, two Acrobike, look at top two cards of your deck, discard one, put uh, put one in your hand. Uh, one Field Blower, four Mysterious Treasure, because our whole, our whole deck is Psychic, except for Marshadow and Sudowoodo. Uh, one Nursery Treasure, can make your Pokemon. Two switch, four ultra ball, and including with the switch, we have altar of the moon. If a Pokemon has a psychic energy attached to it, it has two less retreat costs. So that means your your Donwings to cross with GX is free retreat when a psychic energy is attached to it. Uh, four Cynthia, three Guzma, four Lily. Uh, just for maximum draw here. Uh, two choice man do additional thirty damage. This could be very relevant with the prasmatic burst. You do 190, like I said, but 220 with a choice band and 10 psychic energy. So, we're going to press save. We're going to play three games of Malamar. Um, we know, we, we've seen Malamar decks before. Not Malamar, maybe, but we've seen Malamar type decks before. Uh, so, we've understood this concept, but how good is it now? It did get second place at Worlds. Uh, so, it did do very well, very, very well at Worlds. It was kind of a surprise deck. I don't think anybody really expected Malamar to do well at Worlds, but then it did. I guess energy acceleration is just really, really good. 
Alright, so we're playing against Wandering Hero, which it looks like they're playing a Zork Lycanroc deck. So remember, with this, oh, we gotta move this over just a little bit. It's gonna bug me. Um, we do have, you know, our Necrozma GX. They're weak to dark, right? Which is bad. Ooh, we start with Let Loose, which is not a card we want to start with. It's fine though. We have Ultra Ball. We have some other stuff. We have Al Ac Acrobat as well. Um, we could just Ultra Ball for a Lily turn one, and we could probably Acrobat first, see what we're drawn to, and then go for the Ultra Ball. All right. So yeah, there's Mulligan number one, Mulligan number two. So we get two Mulligan draws, which is really nice. Uh, maybe draw into a Pokemon for this turn. Yes, we draw both of these. There's a Cynthia and an Ultra Ball. All right, so we'll Mysterious Treasure discard a Psychic Energy. I'm going to grab an NK. We will put down the NK. We'll Ultra Ball discard an Ultra Ball and Psychic for another NK. So we get double NK here. Um, we do got a Marsh Shadow. We got a set of Wudo, so we can pull that combo off. So grab NK, put down NK, well, Acrobike. Uh, ooh, okay, we grab Subtle Widow. We'll put down the Subtle Widow, put our opponents down to five, or four, sorry, and then we'll Santa for a new hand of six. All right, so let's see what do we find here. Okay, so we got our cards for next turn. Alrighty, so right now I'm just going to pass. Um, we could put down the Mars Shadow. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to press done. Oh, I'll put down the Mars Shadow just in case he judges. us. And I'll press done. Um, what we can do, oh, maybe we should Ultra Ball with the Dawn Wings. Uh, it's kind of weird, right? But, so now he's in that situation where he can't knock out our Mars Shadow, which is really nice. Uh, we can Dark Flash just top of, oh, we actually can't Dark Flash just top of Coco. It's like almost next to impossible. Um, oh, so maybe we shouldn't have put this guy down. Because now he can fly and flip, and then later on he can knock it out. Ooh, yeah, it's actually a pretty risky misplay here. Also, we didn't touch a Psychic Energy and Marsh Shadow, so we can't retreat it this turn. Uh, we did maybe have the option, but we opted not to. Okay, there's a D. Yeah, this is what I scared of, the DC right there. So we see fly and flip. Yeah, we're going to do 20 to everybody, which means our guy is up to 130 HP, which means it can be knocked out the following turn. Hmm. All right, so what can we do? do here so um let's use mysterious treasure to discard mysterious we discard this guy no we need we need malamar's turn so i'm gonna discard this to find a malamar We'll put down the Malamar. Yeah, I'm just gonna go this route. We yeah, that's fine. We'll mysterious treasure for another this guy for another Malamar. Alright. So grab double Malamar. We'll put down Malamar. Uh we'll hold a choice ban and we'll Lily for five. Okay, so we hit a switch and a psych energy. So we can use the Dark Flash for knockout this turn. Our Acrobite with the top two cards of our deck. Uh, I'll put Marsh Shadow Hand for next turn. We will switch. Oh, hold on. Don't switch yet, Josh. Well, Psychic Reach. <laughs> that was almost bad. Oh, maybe we should grab Cynthia so we have a supporter card for next turn. But he needs a lot to knock us out this following turn. Uh, so we'll double Psychic Recharge to Marsh Shadow. Put a Psychic Energy in this guy. We'll switch into Marsh Shadow. And then we'll use Dark Flash for the knockout. Do we put down the third NK or not? Kind of limit our bench. Uh, but if he takes a knockout, we can power up our guy. Automatically. Then we have to attach Psych Energy. Mm, da -da -da. Sure, we'll put down Malamar. I'm kind of scared. I guess if he danger rogues, he danger rogues regardless. So that's fine. Whatever. He, he, he can danger rogues for knockout. So we'll just Dark Flash for the knockout. Go down to Five price cards. There we go. We find a Psych Energy. That's actually a really good card to draw into. All right. So here comes the good old Rock Ruff. Because what we can do is touch a Psych Energy to the Marsh Shadow. We always have that free tree, which is really nice. All right. So we're good here. There's Guzma. Going to bring up a Subtle Wudo and pass on to our turn. Alrighty. Well, we touch a Psych Energy to the active and pass as well. So we got four energies in play. We just need one more. Okay. 
Let's see what else he's got here. And victor screen. All right, so pretty much he was dead drawing. Uh, maybe he realized he wasn't gonna be able to knock out the Marsh Shadows and stuff like that. Um, the weird play would be coming when he like start attacking with Lichen Rock. Um, he would be able to get one knockout, but then we would be able to use our GX Tack with a Choice Spin to watch out his Lichen Rock back. So it's a weird kind of thing for sure. So Bulu cast. All right, so that's pretty good, right? Marsh Shadow came in clutch, did some work. Uh, we won the clue up again, so going two for two, that's really nice, going first, because we're playing such a setup deck here. Alright, so, I'm going to start Mewtwo, and put Mar and put Necroz on the bench, because we can start using Full Burst, which is a good attack for one energy, which is what we're trying to go for here. Alrighty, so there's a ho- okay, so we can- Lele, Lele doesn't guarantee us anything, unfortunately. Um, we can Cynthia, which I think is what we're going to do here. Uh, yeah, so we're going to Cynthia for new hand of six. Ooh, so get this down. We can Mysterious Judge, just card a Lily for another NK. But outside of that, our hand's not that good. We are going to see my opponent use a Rainbow, uh, use, um, <clears throat> use its, um, Kiawe, most likely. Okay, so this is a Ho-Oh Kiawe deck with, like, Probably Salazzo GX or something in it. So Fire Energy Deactive. Oh, and a Cynthia. So no turn one key away. Alrighty, that is really, really good news for us. Alright. Uh Kiao can only be used if you're ending your turn. Or it's a supporter card, so you only use one supporter card per turn. Duh, Josh. Alright, so well we, uh, it's kinda weird. 190 is an off number. Um uh, well, I guess we take a knockout regardless. Uh, with yeah, so I'm gonna draw Lily for four. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. All right. So, well, Mysterious Treasure. The discard of Ultra Ball for Malamar. But we had no energies. That's unfortunate, right? So, grab Malamar. Put down Malamar. And we're going to have to pass again. My goodness, no energy to even like, go for a Cyburn. Or four bar, sorry. Um, yeah, that's upsetting. Okay. Because he's probably going to hit Kiawe here. There's a Nest Ball for a Slandite, most likely. What is, yeah, that's Slandite, right? Yep, Slandite coming to play. Okay. Let's see, Fire to Slandite. Just a pass. Is his hand that bad? Or is he messing with us? So we'll sit there for a new hand of six. Alright, I can't believe his hand's that bad, actually. Alright, so let's... We have a couple of options right now. Um, I think the play I want to do is put a Psychic Energy in the active. Put down an across with GX. And just go for full boss for 30. Alright, we start... Yeah, might as well start stacking some damage while we can, right? Hmm. Um, because now if he takes a knockout, okay. So, all right, so I guess he just whiffed Kiawe. Is, is he playing the Kiawe variant? He has to be, right? Or did he just time out? Um. Yeah, for Kiawe. Uh, wow. Yeah, four Lele, four Ultra Ball, two Mysterious Treasure, and four Kiawe. And he couldn't find it. Oh my goodness. What's this fair most to do? Is he really high jump kicking? Guys, what is this fair most to use for? Let me know um, down below. Because I don't understand what the, why the fair most is in there. There has to be some way. Alright, so press X. Press done. Uh, does that really count as the game number two? I don't think so, right? Uh, I mean, we would, technically, right? But I don't know if my opponent timed out. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, on to game number three. Well, we'll so we want to count that as game number two. That We didn't really do anything. Um, we were going to, like, I don't even know what we were going to do that turn. His hand was so weird. We just didn't draw into anything really good that turn. All right. So, on to game number three. 
Alright, so let's see here, guys. So we're playing against Pokemaster Amito, playing a fire deck. Is this another Kiawe deck? Has Kiawe Ho picked up some steam now all of a sudden? We are going first, which is great. Against these decks, it's kind of scary going second because they get that Torn Kiawe, we're in trouble. Um, So we get a Mars Shadow, okay. We can Ultra Ball discard Psychic and then Lele, maybe? And then Cynthia, and hope to hit another MK, and then start setting up from there. Uh, Starting with Marshall is not really the best of things, but it's not terrible either. Like, it could be way worse, right? Um, I don't know. There's really not too many things that are, like, terrible to start with this deck, I guess, right? Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh, I imagine we are playing a ho Kiali deck. Show me. Okay, no, we're not. Okay, so, well, uh, Mysterious Treasure, discard a Psychic Energy. Whoa, we probably have three of those guys. Alright, put down this. Um Well Cynthia. Okay, we can put a psych here to the active. Um do we put down Soda Widow? We can limit the bench down to four, which I don't think is too relevant in this matchup. So right now I'm just gonna press done. Okay. Um I mean we can shadow hunt for something next turn. Maybe like discard some kind of Pokemon. We don't have Juniper, so we can't like sick more in this hand away. Uh, which is unfortunate with Lele. So there's a nest ball to find another route. How do, how do we deal against Guardian? That's my question. They have so much HP, which is what I'm kind of scared about. Um, or is this Guardi Zark? I don't think it's Guardi Zark, just because I don't I didn't remember seeing, I don't recall seeing any Dark in his deck. Uh, Alright, so Nest Ball, we're going to find another route, most likely. <clears throat> if we can somehow discard this Mewtwo, we can take a knockout of this turn with using Full Burst, which is really cool to do. So I kind of want to try to do this turn, but I don't know if it's possible. We'll find out. So Nest Ball is going to get out of Eevee. So it looks like he's going to try to find a Sylvia on this turn. Okay. So we'll probably see a Psychic going to Eevee. Probably, not a Psychic, a Fairy is going to Eevee. Use the Energy Evolution, find a Sylveon, and be able to start using Magic Ribbon to grab whatever they need. Alrighty. So that, oh, actually, he... Are the Sylveons in his hand? Did, he should have looked to see if he prized the Sylveons. Maybe they're just in his hand and he's just playing with us? I don't know. Okay, so just pass. Okay. Interesting. So Acrobike. For Acrobike. Alright, discard a Psych Energy. It's pretty good discard. Acrobike. Um, we'll grab, um, we'll grab the switch, okay, put a psychic energy in the active, Lele wonder tag, this I wish I had like a sycamore right now, uh, we're gonna grab a Cynthia, just get a new hand of six, hmm, we gotta put something in discard pile, cause if not, we can't attack this turn, so we'll Cynthia, Mmm. So put down Malamar. Psychic recharge to Malamar. I guess we should have waited and touch energy here, and then we could have attacked this turn. Uh, but right now, we can Shadow Punch for 30. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. But I don't know if my opponent is like, disconnected or what, though. That's the question here. Hmm. If they do okay, so there's Sylveon. So they had Sylveon in hand. Okay. Kind of question. Why did he put uh, the Psychic Energy there? I don't know. So there's a Nest Ball. Okay. Did he? I don't. I'm so confused. Did he time out last turn? Okay, there's a Mudkip. Oh my goodness, this is a Swamper deck. 20, 40, 60. There's a Guzma. Gonna bring up our Malamar, which is fine with me. I'm definitely gonna knock out this Ralts this turn if I can. So Psychic Energy to that guy. Magical Ribbon. Yeah, we're definitely going to Guzma and Energy Drive this Routes for Knockout. That's definitely 
the play we are going to do here. So three cards going to their hand. Own our turn. Another Malamar. Not helpful. So Psychic Recharge. Psychic to do this guy. Do we attach per turn? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one forty. 170. It doesn't take a knockout no matter what. So I'm just going to Guzma. I'm going to save this like energy. Maybe we need it later on or something. We'll send up the Lele. And we'll just end to drive for the knockout. Doing 60. Uh, go down to 5 prize cards. So there's an NK. Okay, that's not very helpful yet. So I'm not punished. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. There's a rare candy Swampert coming to line. So he's got that... Uh, the draw engine power draw coming online. So there's a power draw. Go discard a card from sand. Draw three new cards. Hmm. All right. There's another routes in the field. Another routes in the field. All right. Hmm. Let's see what else he's got here. Rescue stretcher for the other routes, maybe. So he's got three routes this turn. Who needs Bridget when you can double routes, uh, drop a third one with the rescue stretcher? There we go. And I imagine we'll see a magical ribbon. Yep, I'm gonna see magical ribbon here. Okay. Um, man. So he's gonna get rare candy guardy and then a supporter card, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> maybe he already has rare candy in hand. He's gonna go double candy, something. Double Candy Guardy or something? Hmm. I do not know, guys. I'm not 100% sure what he's going to grab here. Because they can swap her. He can constantly just draw three cards over and over again, right? I just hope we find a supporter card soon. We haven't played no Lilies. So we have four of those. Uh, we have two Cynthia's left. Okay. Maybe we should have let loose that one turn, but he, didn't ha he had a bad hand, so... I don't think let loosen was ever the correct play against this. Alright, so on our turn. Put down NK. Touch a psychic energy to this guy. And we'll energy drive. <clears throat> I guess my plan is maybe Marshadow can take a knockout with uh, energy drive. Three, four, five. Uh, I don't know, it'd be kind of hard to take a knockout with uh, I'm not gonna lie with the Marshadow. All right, so there's a Guardy GX coming line because he has 230 HP. There's double candy Guardy. Okay, I'm scared. You've got my attention, opponent. Mm hmm. So Seeker Spring. Where is he gonna put this energy at? Maybe to the active to retreat at this turn. All right, energy to the active. Alright, so let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. He needs a very DCE choice band. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Yeah, so he needs all that combination to get knockout this turn. Um, with Mallow, oh my goodness. He is about to draw some cards. I imagine his hand that he got was like double candy, Mallow or something. He probably already had like double guarding in his hand or something. Hmm. This is not looking good for us right now, guys. I know it's early in the game, but these guardies are going to be very, very difficult to deal with. Just letting you know that right now. So he's going to mallow put two cards top of his deck. He can power draw, just card that card, and draw three new cards. All right, so we're going to see three cards coming to his hand. He can't play Guzma. He's already played that. And Macargo. Oh, my goodness. Macargo and Polion. A Macargo, Swampert, Gardevoir, Sylveon. That is a deck there. That is something. Alright, so Seeker Spring. To the active. DC to the bench. And Plea GX coming online. Uh, and that's... Okay, so this is not terrible, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could put down this guy. We could put down this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can put a Psychic Energy, Choice Spin, and we'll put down Marshadow so we might have Attacker next turn. And we'll play Cynthia for a new hand of six. So three, six. Yeah, we have a knockout this turn for sure. We can Mysterious Treasure, discard a Psychic Energy to find a Necrozma GX. 
Okay. Put down a Necrozma GX. We Psychic Recharge, put a Psychic Energy on the Necrozma GX. Because we might be able to take a knock on a Guardi this turn, next turn. Uh, one, let's see, maybe? It's going to be kind of lucky for us if we get that pulled off. Uh, so we Energy Drive for the knockout. Go down to three. All right. So one and two. We find a NK and a NK. Okay, there's our NKs, because remember, we prized uh, three of them. Okay, so our opponents are going to draw a card. We got Malamar. We got Mysterious Treasure for a Lele. Okay, Lele Wonder Tag. Uh, so he's not probably using Guzma this turn, so that's probably the best thing for this game right now, is he's not using Guzma. The problem is, who do we send up next turn? Hmm, probably the... Oh. Okay, so 6, 12... 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. I mean, no, that's only 22. So we have to hit, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What's this do? All right, so he's putting two cards to squad his hand. Oh my goodness. And then he's got, okay, Malone Psychic for next turn. Or my, not Psychic, sorry. Um... A fair energy, okay, so fair energy active. So three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. So that's a knockout for sure. Okay. Um so we gotta hit switch here. And that's the thing, we have to hit switch this turn. So there's a lily. So put down Malamar. We'll put down Malamar. We will Ultra Ball, discard one and two. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Not enough for knockout right now. Um, We could grab Let Loose. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab this guy first. Okay. Because I'm going to try to draw as much out as I can to try to take a knockout this turn. So grab this guy. Wheel Mysterious Treasure. 6, 12, 18. Yeah, so we Mysterious Treasure. Discard this guy. To grab a Let Loose. Okay. Well, Lily for 5. Alright, so we got the energy. We can double this turn. Um, yeah, we gotta hit a switch with this Marshadow. Yep. Alright, can we hit one of our two switches? No! Okay. So, uh. Well, Psychic Recharge went to this guy. Psychic Recharge once to this guy. Uh, we'll pass, unfortunately. Oh, we missed a switch. If we hit the switch, we would have to take we would have taken a knockout. Switch 6, 12, 18, 24. We would yeah, we would have taken a knockout. Alright, so this is the turning point of the game. This is really, really bad for us. Um, because what's gonna happen is uh, well he, he needs Guzma there. If he doesn't hit Guzma, we're okay. Because he's only taking one price card. If he does hit Guzma, we are in trouble. Oh, there's... Okay, so he needs Lele Guzma Energy. 3, 6, 9. I mean, he has so many cards, and he hasn't power draw yet. Man, we missed the switch. There, Guzma. Okay. Hmm. So my plan this turn... Okay. I still have a plan here, guys. Infinite Force for Knockout. Okay, 180. Go down to 2. We promote the Malamar and hope we hit Guzma top deck right here. Okay. Put this down. We'll Ult Ball. Discard Double Lily. Is the other Let Loose in here? No! <laughs>
Hmm. Because my plan was to let loose and I uh, hope we hit a. S no, you know what we could have done, guys? Oh my goodness, is we could have uh, put down this Lily for a couple, hope to hit a psych energy, free retreat, and that way we could have taken a knockout. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. So right now, we just grab a Lily and then, oh my goodness. Yeah, we could have grabbed that way. Oh my goodness. Oh, I should have remembered if Let Loose is in there because we misplayed right there. Yeah, because this gives free retreat. We could attach it to retreat. Gone for the G. Oh, actually, no, we need Goosebumps to knock on the bench. That's why. Because we don't knock on the active with enough damage. So, we, no, we did everything correctly. So, put this here. Put this here. Okay. And we'll do one more Psychic Recharge. And we're going to go for GX Tech. Hope he can knock out the Lele and we just win from there. So, yes. Uh-huh. Grab Guzma. Okay. We will Guzma break up a Lele. Send in Marshadow. Use our... Moon Eclipse GX for the knockout. Okay, 180. Go down to one price card. Okay. So he can realistically probably take a knockout this turn. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. He just needs a DC and Fair to G. Or some kind of combination of 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Of two energies and a toy span. And a Guzma. Mmm. If he doesn't have that, we can win this turn. Uh, yeah, because we can just use um, Necrozma GX uh, Prismatic Burst. So two things went wrong in that game. If we would hit the switch that one turn, we would have we would have took a knockout. Uh, one of the Guardian GX, and then we could have maybe just used Marsh out of the turn, whatever. Okay, there's the three. If he whips this, I'll be I'll be so surprised. All right, so Ultra Ball is he messing with us? Please don't mess with me. Don't don't get my stress level this high. Right now, opponent, don't you do this to me. Did he whiff it? Did he whiff the Guzma? He already has two Guzma played. That could be the problem as well. Uh, maybe he only plays three Guzma in his deck. Because we're knocking out whoever next turn. Whoever comes in the next spot, we're blowing it up. It is knocked out for sure next turn. If he doesn't have Guzma, we win. Maybe he's out of Lele's. I don't know how many Lele's he plays. He's played two already, okay. <laughs> yes, we won! Unless, no, Escape Rope doesn't win him the game either. Unless he counter catchers. <gasps> what if he plays counter catcher? Okay, Candy Guardy, I don't care about this. We are gonna win this game. Woo! Alrighty. Little Marshad only has 150 HP, but he is doing some work right now. There's a super boost in the Guardy. I don't care about that. That Guardy's doing 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20. It's doing 2, 20, 2 10 by itself right now. Just thought I'd let you know that. So, multi switch. Okay. I don't know if he's just showing off of the camera now. It's not going to matter what he does here. We are taking the game next turn. He can switch. Yes, we got this. We'll put us uh, this here. And we will go for Prasmatic Burst for the knockout. There we go. We're doing plenty of damage. Doing 280 damage. Marshall to take it. The Guardian GX saying, you know what? I might have 150 HP. But I can take you down, Guardy GX. We had three NK prize and we still took it down. He had it like the turn like the turn two swamper, the turn three swamper. That was a pretty intense game, but Mark Shadow MVP coming to clutch, and you can see why this deck is so good right now. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. 
Thanks for watching. Also, tidbit, the reason why this deck is so good right now is there's no Parallel City, which is fantastic. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.